the futuristic silhouette, the ability to fly and jump over other parked cars, this flying car prototype has just completed its first full-scale tests in California. Entirely electric, it has eight small motors and sounds just like a drone. The car fits two people in the cockpit, although it doesn't have a boot used instead to hold the batteries. In order to avoid bumpy rides and rocky landings, the vehicle is extremely light, weighing less than 400 kilos. Not to worry though, the car has an emergency system in case of glitches. This is another advantage of having um, an extremely light vehicle. So you can um, deploy those parachutes at low altitude uh, with ballistics. The manufacturer promises a range of 300 kilometers. They say over 3,000 customers have already placed orders, despite the cars being around $300,000 each. So could we imagine our cities fluttering with low-flying vehicles? Some projects seem to already be well advanced, such as this Slovak model, agile in the air and able to blend into traffic thanks to its retractable wings. Or this Chinese sports car, presented in Las Vegas, which has also completed successful test flights. For specialists, though, cities swarming with flying cars remains a thing of science fiction. How do you give traffic routing to such vehicles? They fly at random, like in Jetsons. I mean, like now traffic on the roads is bad. You can imagine what that will be in terms of congestion and traffic accidents and so on. While taxi drones with very precise air corridors and itineraries might be developed in some cities, flying cars are most likely to remain an expensive hobby, a far cry from the dreamy, futuristic videos proposed by many developers.